intermediate class, which will then build on that class to do some cool projects. And um, so we'll be able to do a lot more cool stuff with your knowledge. But it doesn't mean that we're not going to make things in the first class. Obviously, uh, even with limited knowledge of the language, you can still do some really cool things. Um, and so that's basically the plan. Now, uh, in terms of what you're going to learn in the first class, it'll be, uh, I don't know if these terms will mean anything to you, to you guys, um, but we'll learn stuff like functions, like variables. Um, we'll talk about loops, talk about uh, like sets, dictionaries, like data structures in general. Um, and then at the end, we'll probably do some kind of project or something so that uh, to use like the material that you learned throughout the class. And I'm thinking um, like none of this is like set in stone yet. So some of the thing, some of it can still change, but uh, probably the way the class can be structured is that uh, I'm just going to go through, probably like share my screen or something, go through a bunch of code, be like, hey, you know, we're talking about loops today. So, you know, hey, what's a for loop? Uh, this is what a for loop is. Then go through that, go, show some examples, ask you guys some questions, um, and then it'll be around like that for, I think it's a two hour class, right? So it'll be like that for two hours. And then after I'll give you guys like a homework assignment um, and it won't be anything like too, too crazy. Like it should be done at least like, um, it should be like 20 minutes or less, I would say, um, just to get your minds thinking. And so also to like make it so you're on your own a little bit. And so you have to think on your, by yourself, um, if that makes sense, uh, uh, and like do your own practice. So yeah, that's basically what I'm thinking in terms of the structure of class and what that's going to be like.